So this question says that suppose f is a function from d to r and let us jump directly here it says that d is a proper subset of r right is a function defined by fx like this uh, let a be the set of integers which are not in the domain of f okay a is what a is a set of integers a set of integers this is a very important point to ponder upon uh, set of integers which are not which are not in the domain of f right this is the important so in this question what we have to do is to find the domain right we just have to find the domain and if we got the domain then automatically we'll get the answer or the solution what what it is asking right so let's start fx is given as it's actually root of x square minus 9 upon x plus 3 right so and the function is defined from d to the set of real numbers and d is a proper subset of r right so this uh, these conditions or these things are given to us okay so there are two conditions or uh, like we can proceed using this uh, like yeah so for this for fx to be defined for fx to be defined right for fx to be defined what we need to first think is that this part cannot be equal to zero because the denominator in denominator we can't have zero right so x plus 3 should not be equal to zero so x should not be equal to minus 3 right so let us take this as equation 1 and uh, yeah the next thing which arises here that uh, notice that everything is being dealt in the, in the real number so the next thing is x square minus 9 has to be greater than equal to 0 right because it can't be less than because it, uh, within the root we can't take anything negative in this uh, in this part of our course right so yeah and though in the calculator so uh, x square is great has to be greater than or equal to 9 so from thus this we can conclude that x is uh, greater than or let me write it like this x x has to be smaller than or equal to minus 3 and greater than or equal to 3 right so let us and uh, this is condition number 2 so let us point these two conditions in our number line right so let us let me make a number line like this and let us take this as minus 3 and this is 3 right so okay so the first condition says that x can be anything but not this minus 3 right so we can assuming uh, everything except 3 here also everything right since there are two conditions then uh, so we have to in uh, we have to take the domain as intersection of these two conditions right we can't neglect any one of these conditions or constraints over the domain right so the next thing says or the next constraint says that uh, this has to be less than or equal to 3 and greater than or equal to 3 right like this so we need to take the intersection of both these cases so it would be nothing but this the all these things are included in our domain but we know we, we won't include 3 right because it's obeying the point 3 is obeying only one condition which is not our uh, condition to take it into the domain right so this part is again not included and this part again is a common part so all this part would be included so domain domain would be nothing but minus infinity to 3 open interval union right and then it's from 3 to infinity and here the 3 is, is included so yeah let us uh, so why are it, it can be equal to 0 because numerator can equal we can take numerator as equal to 0 because it won't cause any problem and when at 3 when the numerator will be my at x is equal to minus 3 when the numerator uh, will be equal to 0 
it, it the value of x is equal to minus 3 will also make the denominator as 0 which is again a not defined thing so that's why we are not considering minus 3 here right it is minus 3 and 3 to infinity so this is only so not in domain so what was the set the set was a so a would in a will be having uh, minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 right so the cardinality is being asked so it is the answer is 6 right 